Oops. Let's see. Okay, just do it on your phone. You can cook and talk to us. <laughs> if it's too much, don't do it. I don't want, I'm not, I'm just joshing. If it's too much, don't do it. We'll figure it out later. But it seems like a lot of the ladies have questions and I, it's probably easier to talk than to type. But yeah, I, um, and for me, honestly, it's out of insurance, either one of them. So that was also another deterrent, but I would have to pay for hotel. Um, if I, if, if, it's Barbados. It's a air. What am I saying? Air. That's not right. Air flight. It's a flight. <laughs> I don't know why my words, my brain likes to make my words jumble around. If I go to Barbados, it's a flight. It's air travel. That's what I'm trying to say. It's air travel. If I go upstate New York, it's a rental car. So, it, you know, um, and then none of my meds would be covered. So it would just be, it would, there's a, an exorbitant expense that I don't have if I go in New York City. Um, airfare, thank you. <laughs> oh my God, I wonder, like I need to do more brain puzzle exercises. I'm like, am I having like dementia? Like I can see the word or I, I, I know, I, I don't know. It's just like, maybe once my anxiety subsides, the words will come easier. Yeah. It's interesting that CMY. Okay, here, Jada. Hello. Hi. 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 How are you? What you cooking? I am cooking some smothered meatballs and like the egg noodles. My fiance wanted that. Okay, know. that sounds good. Hi. Well, thank you for hopping on. So anything you want to tell us, we're we're listening for how this works. Yes. So CNY and Barbados. So I had initially um, signed up, waited for the um, consult with CNY, went through the whole process, got ready to do the cycle. And then I started realizing that um, donor eggs may be a better option for me. And so, of course, the cost of donor eggs here in the U.S. is so expensive. Um, I came across excuse me, a video of uh, some, I already knew about Barbados, but I really wasn't considering them until I decided that, you know, maybe I should try a cycle with donor eggs. And so I realized that um, it would be a little more cost effective. Oh, the sun is shining. So that's how I ended up deciding to go to Barbados. I heard really good things about it. And then as a lot of people know, I learned that Kenya Moore, a lot of you all know Kenya from the Housewives, and she had gone there, and I'm like, oh, well, Kenya had success, so let me go and see what it's all about. So I went. Um, I haven't had, obviously, I haven't had su uh, success yet, but what I will credit Dr. Skinner for is she was the first doctor who told me about the immune testing. Mm. Um, because I had shared with her that I had had two miscarriages. And so she said, anyone that's had more than one miscarriage, she strongly encouraged the immune testing out of, um, what is it? Rosalind Young. It's, I always get it. Rosalind Young, the university in Chicago. Okay. Which is where they supposedly the only lab that does this, this testing. So I had the testing done and sure enough, it came back saying that I had um, elevated natural killer cells and cytokines and all of that. So she said, okay, um, so that means that when you do your cycle, you're going to have to be on pre um, the prednisone and all of that. And so I did that first cycle, which was in 2019, I think. Before the um, pandemic. Uh-huh. Or maybe it was in 2018. But anyway, first cycle didn't work. Mm. Um. I ended up, oh, let me back up. So I was going to do a fresh donor. Um, the young lady didn't respond well to the stem. So back to CNY. So because I already had Dr. Um, Kiltz had already written my plan and already had sent the prescriptions, 
I was able to still fill those prescriptions because the the C and the Barbados prescription, most U.S. pharmacies will not honor it. There's, okay. There's a pharmacy in Miami that they work with. Some people use the IVF meds and then some of the online pharmacies, but most pharmacies won't. But because I had those other, and I probably shouldn't be saying this on online, but... <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> but... I, was a, I can't I, give I, you legal I, advice. Just move cautiously. <laughs> so I filled the. Pres- I was able to fill the my prescriptions. So um, I decided, and you know, it was actually one of the doctors from CNY who told me. He said, um, "I, if I were you at your age, I'm 47 now, and at." Uh oh, you froze. Can you still hear me? Mm-mm. Jada. If you can hear me, you may have to go out and come back in. You froze right after you said you're 47. Okay, here you go. Yeah. Uh oh, it, it cut out for a minute. Yeah, it went right after you said I'm 47. And then I think you were saying at the time, and then it, or now, and then it froze. Oh, I was saying that at the time of doing that first cycle, I think I was 45. Um, and maybe going on 46. But at any rate, it was one of the doctors at CNY who told me, he said, you know, with your age and everything, I would really put my bet more on donor eggs um, so that you have a better chance for a successful outcome. So based on that, I decided, okay, then I am going to go with Barbados. So anyway, like I said, fast oh, forward okay. through, first cycle with Barbados didn't work. Second. Wait cycle. one second before you go to the second one. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Did where did you get your donor? Was the woman from Barbados or yes. she was okay? Okay. Yes, the woman was from Barbados. I actually did double donor. Um, at okay. The time I didn't. I wasn't engaged and all that. So I I'm did. a double donor too. I'm a double donor, so I understand. I remember that because it's funny because watch, I've been following you for a couple years now, and it seems like there was twice where we were cycling at the same time. I think I. You probably don't remember, but I even sent you a, a message or posted that we were uh, we were cycling at the exact same time, had the exact same outcome and everything. Ugh. But uh, um, yeah, so I um, did my monitoring here and I'm in Dallas. OK. And so um, I registered with a couple of um, uh, reproductive endocrinologists here. Okay. So they, I was able to do my, you know, ultrasounds and all of that stuff here. Once I did it, they would then send the transcript or the information to Barbados. They just email it over. Now, did Barbados say exactly what they wanted tested or it was just like standardized? Like when they were, when your local person was doing the testing they or the said, blood work? Um, of course they wanted, well, the initial lab work and all of that stuff, you know, I got that done. They said what I needed to have checked. You know the the usual hormones. Okay. Um, and then when it came to checking my uh, lining, it was just you know they wanted to make sure that the lining was clear of fibroids, which I do have. So I just went to the doctor today. That's a whole nother story. But oh. they wanted to make sure that the ovaries had no cysts, and um, you know that the the uterus looked good enough to support a a possible pregnancy right and the thickness so those were the things and so I would have to do like two or three lining checks here and then the final lining check was done in Barbados oh wow okay the transfer now do they ever give you like a go no go point where it's like if you if you don't have x y and z don't get on the plane you know what they don't and I kind of wish they did because this last one, I don't know. I kind of feel like I shouldn't have because I had some concerns, but Dr. Skinner was like, no, everything's fine. Let's move forward with the, with the cycle. One of them was delayed. I did delay one of them because my reproductive endocrinologist was, he said, no, not the endocrine, the immunologist, the um, guy out of um, Chicago, Michigan. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought you said Dr. Okay. Derbala. Derbala. Okay. Yeah, I was. I went with him because this was uh, when he first 
uh, started his own practice because he used to be with KK, Quack Kim. Okay. He, I'm not uh, up on all these. Okay. Well, he used to be her um, understudy, so to speak. And so okay. he opened his own practice. And it wasn't a very long wait like it is with a lot of them. Mm. So I caught him at a good time. I think I only had to wait like maybe a month or something. Oh, wow. Um, That's real good. Mm -hmm. So um, Barbados, I will say a lot of people have had success with Barbados. A lot of people have not had success with Barbados. Um, there are some things that I wish they had done or would do that they don't do. Um, you know, you definitely, like what? um, a lot of the testing, like I remember wanting to have my progesterone and estrogen levels tested right before transfer. And I kind of had to push for that. This last oh. cycle, my, it starts with a B. Um, it's, it's a lot of people don't really even talk about it, but it's one of those hormones that if it's too high, your cycle will not work. It's they give you bromo bromocryptamine to keep it elevated. Okay. Um, no, it starts with a P. P I want to say Pitocin, but that's when you're giving prolactin. Is it the prolactin? prolactin yes. Okay. Yes. My prolactin was, was high. And I knew that I shouldn't have gone forward with that cycle, but they were like, no, it's fine. Let's do it. And so, um, yeah. Okay. And I feel like I'm skipping all over the place because there's a lot of pieces in between um, that I'm, I'm kind of leaving out. But do you have, does anyone have any specific questions that maybe I could answer? Anybody have any questions? I also, I, did your um, RI work with the Barbados RE? No, not really. As a matter of fact, there was a little bit of, um, I don't want to say tension, but the doctors in Barbados did not like the idea that I was working with the reproductive immunologist. They were like, mm, uh, okay, the reproductive immunologist, because see, they had all, both of them had given me two separate um protocols oh. as far as the, the immune uh medication went so the reproductive herbal i had me on like a higher dose of pro, uh, progesterone i mean um um prednisone the doctor in barbados thought it was too high so it was very much a struggle of trying to decide well, which one do i go with and who do i you know lean towards and can't we just all work together? What happened to having a medical team? Right. But they didn't want any parts of that. So I uh, kind of had to make my own decisions. And I don't know if maybe going. Oh, no, you froze again. Can you hear me? You froze right at make my own decisions often caused by okay i went out again I yes you it. froze and you had to kind of make your own decisions yeah of which doctor to go with who you know i was going to listen to and i sometimes you know wonder if taking the higher dose of prednisone was an issue because sometimes you can be over suppressed right you know? when did you start your prednisone because i know this ri wants me to start it on um uh, when i start my estradiol Initially, I think I had started either 30 days or six weeks out, but part of the protocol the doctor in Barbados said after the first failure was that I needed to start it sooner. So okay. she wanted me to start it, I think, 60 days out or um, something Oh, wow. Like okay. Yeah. Please. Okay, I got you. Um, Janaya, Janaya has a question for you. What was the cost? How for much was the donor eggs? I remember it initially being 9,000 and that was for when I was initially doing the fresh donor however many eggs would have come from that donor I would have been able to keep she did not respond well to the medications and did you have to pay for her meds so because I had meds at home I was able to ship those meds um Actually, I brought them with me, 
And she was able to use, no, I feel like I did ship them. So she was able to use those meds and they realized that she still wasn't responding well. So when I got there, like a couple days, maybe two or three days before transfer, my coordinator calls me and says, hey, we're sorry, she's not responding well. So your only choice at this point is to cancel the cycle or we have three sets of donor eggs. Oh, the frozen? The frozen. Oh my God. Yeah, the frozen. Okay. So, so the 9,000 was just gone for the fresh. Well, they kind of, I ended up, I ended up having to pay more, which I ended up paying like 15,000 because Ooh. I got like, what was it? 12, 12 eggs, I think. 10 or 12. Okay. And I feel like, I still feel like I wasn't, that wasn't handled properly. But you know, when your, your emotions are running high, you're maybe not thinking the clearest, um, all of that was going on. So I went ahead and gave them more money. Right. Um, oh my God. I feel I probably shouldn't have done. But at that point, it's like in for a penny, in for a pound. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's how I felt. It was like, here, just get it done. Yeah. 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 And then I thought about the fact that here in the U.S., if I were to purchase a lot of donor eggs, there's nowhere that I could get 12 donor eggs for 15000 No. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. even so, I did mine in the U.S., right? I had fresh, um, fresh eggs. And I ended up with 10 embryos at the end of it all. But I could not give her my meds. The clinic refused. So I had to pay for her to have brand new meds. Oh, okay. Um, and all the eggs were mine, but we had a significant deep because I think I don't even remember it was it was over ten. I just know it was like a I think it was like I can't remember if I ended up with half or three quarters of how many eggs she had, but that's what I ended up for Ember. They didn't all make it. That's what it was. I have to go back and look at the video. It was like maybe it was twenty, then it went to sixteen. Like the um, mm -hmm. there was only ten that made it to day five. Okay. But that the medicine alone was expensive because I couldn't. I, it was a, it was supposed to be covered by my insurance, but the clinic got spooked at the end, and they were just like, "Oh well, we don't." They were really worried about that her her identity would be released to me somehow through doing it. So they had me pay cash, and then they were like, "You can resubmit to your insurance," and the insurance was like, "Why did anyway?" So that was a pain in the ass. But then um, I don't know, and it was a. What was your selection process like? Because mine, it was like basically like they previewed for me and I only ended up, I just, the one they showed me is the one I took. So with Barbados, and I, I understand that the process has since changed, but I was sent a link where there were pictures of donors. Okay. And I- uh, As adults or as children? The females- As would, adults. Okay. Oh, as wow. Adults. Okay. Uh-huh. They, they were adult pictures- um, and it was just only one picture and it had a, a little, you know, bio about them, their height, their weight, their occupation, um, blood type, um, maybe a couple of other things. And so I was able to select, you know, from that list. Um, and then when the donor that I selected didn't work out, I, the list of frozen don uh, embryos, there was another list of ladies that had you know fro em uh, from prior frozen, cycles and there were only three and the young lady that I ended up going with uh she shared my blood type so I felt oh she was O negative so I felt like okay well that's maybe that's a, a sign you know because I had already looked at her because she kind of resembled me I felt like she was my same complexion um and I just felt like, okay, this girl could be uh, related to me. So it just kind of made sense. And, you know, we had the same blood type. So I went with her. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Well, I'm going to take it one step back, though. Like, before they presented, <laughs> did you give them a list of criteria? Of, like, you want her to be college ed educated? You want a certain skin tone, certain body type, family no. background, anything? Okay. No, I didn't. They didn't even ask me those questions because they were like, you know, this is the list, and out of the list of maybe 15, a lot of them were already, they were saying, well, this one can't do a cycle until in six months or in nine months or whatever. And so the ones who were able 
to do a cycle pretty soon were the ones that I really honed in on. Okay. Mm -hmm. So are your embryos in Barbados? They are. I have two. I, so I ended up with six um, okay. that fertilized out of the 12, which is, they said is normal. They say normally it's about half of them. So um, they transfer two at a time, which is another thing that some people say, no, don't do that. That, you know, because if one fails, it could cause the other to fail, but that's how they like to do it. They say it gives you a better chance of, at success. So the first two times I transferred, I transferred two each time. Um, so I have two left. Oh, wow. Okay. And when is the wedding? You said you're trying to do it before the wedding? No, the wedding is in November. Oh, yay. Um, Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The wedding is in November. My fiance and I have talked about it. He's doesn't have an issue if I still want to use those, you know, those embryos. He said he's totally okay with that. So I guess it's just a, a decision I need to make. I thought about maybe trying to do a cycle around the wedding so we can maybe do like a honeymoon there. But I probably, because mm, every time I've gone, it's a beautiful island, but you know, you're not drinking any alcohol, not eating any sugar and trying to be strict and all of that we yeah so yeah enjoy your honeymoon enjoy your new husband like yeah uh, girl yeah so I'm like oh maybe I I'll wait until after and just go and do it and just part of me at this point feels like you know what though the two that are remaining are the um lowest graded embryos oh okay even though, ironically, you'll hear a lot of people, say, a lot of women I've heard, their least or lowest graded embryos were the ones that worked. Yep. Yeah. So, yep. so I don't want to completely, you know, call it a wash, but I'm kind of just like, you know, let's just, I'm going to just maybe go and just get it over with, you know, and whatever happens, happens. So, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe next year. Yeah, you'll know. You'll know. Tiffany is saying thanks for being so open and informative. Oh, um, you're welcome. Indy is saying, hello, everyone. I live in Martinique, and I had two failed cycles with Barbados. Is there only one clinic in Barbados? It's like the fertility. Yeah, there's only one in Barbados. They do have a sister clinic that they've opened in Trinidad. I'm, I, I, My memory serves me correctly. But they weren't doing... Or maybe they were doing, at one point they weren't doing transfers there, but they do have a sister clinic that just opened like two years ago. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, you know, I don't, mm, Barbados has been a huge blessing for uh, a lot of women, Um. but for just as many women that has ha have had success, you'll hear some stories of some things that have happened that kind of makes it breaks your heart. And again, I, I don't want to, you know, put all of that out there, but uh, yeah. Yeah. So I think we all know at least one person has had a bad experience, whether in Barbados or in, at any clinic. And it's, I've had bad experiences with clinics and other people like swear by that same clinic. So yeah, yeah it happens. Yeah. There's no, Perfect. Um, Indy has one more. The she's would use donor eggs. Forty five. They asked her to check for killer cells too in Chicago for nine hundred dollars, but she decided to do it here because it will be free with her insurance. And so. so that's the other thing. I didn't know when this was first presented to me. I was made to believe that these tests, insurance doesn't cover this, and shame on me because you know maybe I should have researched it more. So I paid that at the time. Actually, I feel like it was a thousand dollars. Maybe it was nine hundred, and I I had to pay another hundred for something else. But yeah, that's how much it cost. But yeah. Now, when I get it done through Dr. Durbala, my insurance covers it, and I just have to pay like thirty five dollars for the lab draw fee, and then I have to pay to have it shipped to Rosalind Franklin. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, my the BRI Braverman reproductive immunologist doesn't take insurance. So mine was going to be out of pocket. Um, mm -hmm. But I know there's some groups on Facebook too that are like, 
they know ways around the insurance or how to get accepted by insurance or maybe post. Um, so there's definitely, I, I recommend for everybody, like see if, in, if insurance will cover it. If not all, how much, you know, why not? Mm-hmm. Um, right. I say the same because it's expensive to pay out of pocket. And then if you, if you're doing a cycle or if you're leading up to one, you want to get those levels checked like every, sometimes every two to three weeks. Right. To see if there's, you know, any changes. Yeah, especially coming on the meds and coming off the meds, you don't know how your body's responding. Like it could mm-hmm. do a rebound or whatever else. Um, the ladies are excited. You're talking about this clinic. There's someone else. Um, who is this? There's one more person. Savvy Halasi. I think I got the questions. I don't want to hold you too long because I know you're cooking, but I appreciate oh, you fine. hopping on. It's done. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, because there's a lot. There's a um, so if, if did you go to Barbados specifically because you were doing Joan, or is that what made you say buy CMI? Yeah. Okay, yeah, now of course, you know, I've learned there's a lot of people go to Mexico. Um, oh, where else are people going? A lot of people, well, there are people that have gone to Greece, Ooh. and apparently, Greece has very high success rates. Now, do they have donors that are people of color, like Black people? Well, so that's the thing. I know that one of my friends, when I haven't talked to her in so long, and she's biracial. And I think her donor ended up being biracial. Oh, wow. Think, okay. Um, but just like Mexico, there are some Afro... Afro Afro-Latino. Yes, on. yeah. Okay. That makes yeah. sense. But some... But yeah, so I think I chose Barbados because I figured there would be more, you know, people of my, you know, background. Right. There. It's hard. It's, there's not a lot of black female, well, there's not a lot of black male donors too, but that's a whole other issue. Um, There's not a lot of black female donors. And then I know there's one TT sister who is, I believe she's Indian and there is, she's having an even harder time. So it's just like, Mm -hmm. I wish we get the word out for, you know, women of color, like this is a thing and we'd love to have yeah. babies we need your help <laughs> yeah i know it's 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 definitely a, a lot of my friends and people around me that i've talked to about this are just blown away because they had they have no idea that this world even exists like what like embryos like what's that and, right you know donor embryos and just the whole process i even um my employer our um fertility benefit used to be 25,000 and they increased it to 75,000 oh wow okay uh t- before right before covid a little bit before covid and so i was just like blown away by that um i i don't think it covers donor eggs so that's really the thing yeah yeah, my insurance covered the medication for donor eggs, but of course, the way the clinic did it, I didn't get that benefit, um, but mm. not the administrative fees. And I had already run out of retrieval. So if I would have only used one retrieval, they would have covered the retrieval. Um, oh, but they did okay. cover, they covered the um, uh, all the monitoring, the blood work and all that. But mm-hmm. yeah, it was a little, it was, it's a whole other thing. I yeah. feel like they should do some sort of reimbursement because when people adopt, they'll do a reimbursement. But I mean, I'm grateful to have benefits, so I'm not going to get nippy because I know some yeah. people don't. But yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Um, Indy is asking, if do you mind if we get in touch? I never met someone who at the same clinic as me, so I don't know yeah, how. Absolutely. Indy, do you want to drop your, do you want her um, email address or what's the best way for you to reach out to her? I can, uh, I'll put my email in here. Okay. Um, let me see how to do it. Or if, Indy, if you want to drop your email in the chat, and then she can reach out to you, Jada can reach out to you. And and I don't know, Indy, if you know, but there is a Barbados Fertility, there's a group on Facebook. Um. Oh. Yeah, and then... There's a young lady, she's a, a content creator and influencer. Um, she's on Facebook. She's all over. She and her husband went. 
they had twins the first time, and I think she's pregnant again with twins. Oh, wow. And her, I can't remember what she... She has a lot of videos. She's she she has dr- journaled her entire journey with Barbados. Um, What's her channel name or her I'm handle? I'm trying to think of it. It's God because you're asking me, I'm not able to think. Of <laughs> My brain works the same way. <laughs> and, and I think a lot of people may not say, "Oh, I know her," just from seeing her, you know, and different things. She's sponsored a lot of makeup people sponsor her to talk about their products and stuff okay um, ladies in the chat if you know drop it in the chat she went to barbados really, really thick, beautiful hair curly hair i'll have to think of her name because it's okay. completely escaping me it'll come to you as soon as we're done you'll be like oh yeah mm-hmm. that's just the the law of the land oh my goodness yeah, I, the one thing I do, um, it's interesting because you said at the top about if you have two losses or not, because mm-hmm. I had my first transfer, I had the loss, the early loss, and I feel like they were reluctant to test me for anything at that point because they just wanted <laughs> to be like, oh, it's your eggs, it's your eggs, right? Yeah. Because um, I started the IVF process, well, I started the baby making process at 46, so I was already like above, I was a uh, what did they advanced maternal age? Okay. So mm-hmm. it was, you know. Um, yeah. So I always think about that of like, oh, I wonder if we would have done my immunology test straight away if I would have. I mean, it's I know it's no point in beating a dead horse, but it is a wonder. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, they were so quick to be like, oh, you have to have donor eggs. Mm-hmm. Oh, here yeah. somebody said Wanda Mulzak. Mulzak? Yes, okay. Wanda. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Latanya. So, Indy, if that there's somebody else you can follow uh, on Facebook and I think everywhere else, um, Wanda Molzak, who also had a, who went to Barbados and has had two positive outcomes. So. Yes, and she has a lot of positive. Oh, Cheryl said it too. She um, does? Okay. Mm-hmm. That's good. See, that's why it's important to share our stories and thank you for sharing, Jada. Because I, I feel like there's people who have a little bit of information here, a little bit of information, and we got to find it and pull it together so that it's not so odd. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel yeah. there's power in information. And so the more we share our stories, the more powerful we all become together. This is true. Tiffany said, I hate the uh, term advanced maternal. And Jerry, I hate that too. I, hate I know. That too. I was like, what? Jerry, I actually like, you're know, a lot of moms. But- oh my God. <laughs> All right, Miss Jada, go eat your food with your fiance, ma'am. Oh, he's not off until later. I'm just cooking it now, but I'm not going to eat any. I'm trying to be on a diet. So I just ate a nectarine. That's <laughs> all you have for dinner is the nectarine? Well, I had some stuff earlier. I'm not really hungry. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I can't but- talk. I've only been eating twice a day. Uh, my appetite is not where it needs to be. <laughs> Girl, well, I wish mine wasn't either because <laughs> it's not at the moment, but oh, that's a struggle for me. That's oh my another, God. another story. But anyone who wants to reach out uh, to me, let me, uh, I can drop my, let me see, drop my email. If you want to tell me, I can put it on a banner too. Um Oh, it's Jada L. Hayes at gmail.com. Jada L? Yeah, L as in Lynn. Mm hmm. Okay, I just put it in the. Oh, you did? Okay. Chat, yeah. Um, I like to turn on the air. I didn't realize I'm sweating this hot in here. But and he was um, standing in the kitchen too, ma'am. Yes, um, yes. Standing over the no, top. it's not. Did you hit enter? It's not in the chat. Oh, it's not. I did uh, hit enter, but uh-oh. let's see. The last thing I see is Tiffany's comment. I see on my end it says comments, and then it's there. Chat with everyone in the studio. Okay. Oh, well, maybe they can see it, and I can't. Um, I don't know. Oh, wait. You and I are in the studio, I think. Wait, but oh. yeah, I see. Oh, no, I see. Okay, I can copy. It's in a private chat. I'm like, okay. I'm glad you Oh, really? Because... Yeah. You and I are oh, in the studio. Oh, okay. 
Okay. See, I just said hi back. Okay, let me yeah. just put it on the banner. Um, contact Jada at. Okay, so I'm going to put it. There we go. So you guys can contact Jada at jadalhayes at gmail.com. And yes. you get all of your questions about Barbados. So you stayed there for two weeks. So you went right before the transfer? I, I stayed for, I feel like I, the first time I stayed for maybe like 15 days. The second time I feel like I may have stayed for only like 13 days or something like that. But it was around two weeks each time. Are you staying for beta? Like why is it um, 14? Why is it two weeks? Um, because they like you to come early so they can do those last. Maybe it's two lining checks that they want to do. Okay. Um, They put you on birth control pills, which I don't like because... My body doesn't like that. I know some women who have been on birth control for their cycles and it didn't work. And then the minute they did a cycle without it or did a natural cycle, they had success. Oh, so wow. they would tell, because I, I inquired about that and they said that, no, they like you to be on the birth control because you're traveling and the way they do it, um, they schedule you according to the time frames that they have open. So let's say, oh, okay. yeah, so in order so they're to taking control, over your cycle, they're controlling it. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. So you have to stay on the birth control. They usually want you to start it like two months in advance. Oh, wow. Okay. And to me, that's a long time, you mm -hmm. know, so that's something that I don't particularly care for, but, um, so they, and the coordinator, you know, everything is written out you know, step by step, what you have to do, what day you start, what med and, you know, so on and so forth. There have been some people that have talked about their protocol or their timeline was messed up. Um, but for the most part, if you follow what they have, it's, you know, it'll run pretty smoothly. Okay. Um, but yeah, they'll tell you. And so that's one of the reasons why they'll even tell you travel to Barbados, you know, book your flight, fly out on this date and you could leave on this uh, okay i got you mm -hmm. wow yeah so then you're are you have the transfer and then how many days do you have to stay after transfer how many days do they ask you to stay they don't really usually they say to try to rest maybe for a day but i know some women that have had their transfer and left the next day oh wow uh, okay i think for me i have stayed maybe two days beyond the transfer um, but they, they're not really picky about that, you know, especially if you have someone with you. Now, the times that I've gone, I've gone by myself. Okay. Um, and so, you know, I didn't have anyone to pull the, the luggage unless I had one of the people in the, oh. in the airport to do it. But I just remember, you know, you think of everything. I'm like, is that what went wrong? Maybe I should have waited longer instead of walking through and dealing with all of that. Maybe that had a negative effect on my cycle, you know, and all of that stuff. Um, but hey. It's always going to be a question. I mean, when it doesn't work, it's like we just ruminate over mm -hmm. what could we have done differently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but, but I am going to go and... Um, do another that that one last cycle um they said that they're if i want to only transfer one they can defrost and or thaw and ha and then just freeze the other one but i don't know if i want to do that some people say it's not good to do that what it's not good to do what to thaw if you thaw them and then re oh yes freeze. yeah yeah mm -hmm. they said it's less problematic than it was before but it definitely is not as if you had never thought it and refroze it yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. would you be ready for twins i would be as a matter of fact when i first started with barbados i knew there was a chance of twins and i was completely okay with it i went out and bought a, a new vehicle a bigger vehicle and everything i just knew i was gonna come home pregnant with twins <laughs> oh my goodness it's still so, yeah, gonna happen I was ready for twins. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs>
That I, is, um, I, yeah, it just, I don't know, it's a lot to wrap my mind around, like getting on a plane, going on over there. Um, uh-oh, it paused again. Uh-oh. Can you hear me? I can see you. Uh-oh, now you paused. <laughs> it, Maybe we're gonna come back. Oh, okay. there. Okay. Yeah, it, I heard you say it's hard to wrap my my mind around, and then it went off. The travel, like the travel and getting there, I just feel like my anxiety um, would be through the it roof again. Uh oh. Can you hear me? I'll type it in there. Um, or triplets. I'm gonna type it in. Like my anxiety would be through the roof. There we go. It I feel like my anxiety plane. would be through the roof, I said. Yeah, well, uh, oh, your anxiety? Oh, well, I like to travel. I do solo traveling anyway, so that was that was right up my alley. I, that part, I wasn't... I like to go by myself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay with the travel, but I would just... It's the travel by itself I'm okay with, but with I just feel like there's so many things... That, in my past cycles that have gone wrong, like to get on a plane and get there and it'll be like a no-go. I think that's my fear. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I don't know. Maybe this time my fiance will go with, well, it'll be husband then. Maybe he'll go with me. Yeah. Oh my God. Mm, yeah. We'll see. But, um, hmm. But yeah, if anyone has any questions at all um, about the process or about, you know, the clinic itself, the people, um, just let me know. They have a spa there oh. where you can do acupuncture and massage. Um, so this last time I did the acupuncture and the massage before, and they recommend you do it after the Acupuncture, acupuncture before and after. So that's supposed to increase your chances of implantation. And for some people, it does. Some people say that it yeah. feel like it's helped. So, yeah. It definitely helps relax me. Like, just, even, I don't care what else is doing. It definitely, like, brings it down a notch for me, um, yeah. which is good. So if you did do this for your honeymoon, you would you could potentially have like the first week of the transfer and then the second week just relaxation or vice versa. Yeah. Well, usually the relaxation is kind of before, like they want you there so many days and before the transfer, once the transfer is done, some people stay an additional week after that. I know people that have gone and stayed like three and four, a whole month. Okay. And no, just kick um, back. Mm -hmm. And especially now with being able to work remotely, um, you know. A lot oh, right. You can just work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But um, then you have to also factor in the cost of, you know, staying in a hotel for all that time um, or Airbnb. Um, I stayed in a, an Airbnb the first time for the first week, I think, and then the the last few days I moved to a hotel because I didn't like where the Airbnb was located. Um, so I moved. Okay. Um, the second time I stayed at that hotel and it, it's in walking distance from the clinic. The clinic okay. is right across the street from the, from the, um, the boardwalk, from the ocean. And the other lady can will probably tell you, it's really beautiful. I would just go over and and if nothing else Barbados is absolutely gorgeous the, the okay the, it's a beautiful island I haven't been so the other lady Wanda Wanda Mozak no well the lady that's in the group wasn't there someone in the in here in the chat who went to Barbados oh here? yeah um I know Indy said she went I'm not sure if Savvy went oh, but here's okay. a here's a question for you can you speak to dating following the process sometimes i worry about how my future significant other would handle it um i think that for me i was very open with guys and i kind of let them know hey listen i'm 40 however years old and you know i've been trying and this is what it is <laughs> this is what i'm doing 
And, you know, most guys that I've dated or have been before meeting my fiance, they didn't seem to really, well, I take that back. Most of them were like, girl, I could get you pregnant, you know. That <laughs> <laughs> everybody, everybody. Oh, my God, for free. They're like, oh, I can, right. get, I can get it for free. Like, I don't know why you're doing all that. You're going all over there and spending all this money. I don't understand that. No. Oh, my God. Like, That's boy. funny. <laughs> Although I will say there was a lady on YouTube. Now she wasn't trying, of course, but she was like 49 and ended up pregnant. I can't think of her name. And she was like this whole big thing. And she was like, I didn't think I could get pregnant. And the, it's one of those stories, like when you're a TTC, it makes you cringe. So I didn't follow her because she was like, had a tube tied or had two tube tied or something removed. Oh, wasn't oh. trying. Surprise pregnancy. And I was just like, okay. I mean, it's like it inspiring, happens. but I'm just like, I can't deal with it. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, Indy said Barbados is beautiful. I have not dated since I have uh, been TTC, but I would imagine because of my age, if I meet somebody, well, I shouldn't put that on myself. I might meet a younger man and rock it out. Because I'm thinking if yeah. I meet somebody older, they're not going to want to be like a kid, but I could get me a young man. <laughs> Surprisingly, Guys that I've met were older, but I think I think I know what it is because it's like every guy I would meet, they would have this like they were on this conquest to make a baby. I think it's because I don't have kids, and I think some men see that as some type of I don't know, like a challenge or a. I think so in some weird way. Okay. Um, I think that that was the mindset. I'm like, mm, yeah, no, I don't know about it. But oh my god, I mean, it has to be too because you know, I mean, no offense to anybody who has babies. Obviously, I have an adult daughter, but they're probably like, oh well, you already have a kid. If you it, meaning the other lady, so like somebody who doesn't have a kid and who wants to have a kid, they're probably like, yes, yeah, <laughs> like let me be the man. You know what I mean? Yes, that that has virility been the reaction that I surprisingly the reaction that I have gotten. So, that I mean, even like now, like, you know, it's a possibility that I could still get pregnant naturally. I mean, if I, you know, lost weight, came off of sugar and all of those things that's necessary, which I need to be doing anyway. But you never know, you know, there's still. You could get pregnant without doing any of that. You know what I mean? You don't know. You, anything yeah listen the honeymoon might be it i'm telling you that's that's true you might i might be messaging me saying sneaker guess what <laughs> yes i'll be doing cartwheels for you oh my god oh. yeah i mean it's interesting like the journey can be long um but i feel like i find out new things about myself so i'm not mad at it even though it can be frustrating i'm not mad at it you know what i mean yeah yeah, it's it's definitely a journey that has taught me a lot about myself, about my body. Um, I've learned so much from other women. I mean, I used to be in a lot of very active in a lot of these Facebook groups, and these women are like mad scientists. And I, I have to say that I have learned. I feel like some of them know more than the doctors. You know? Right? Yeah. You know, it's like, it, it's my, especially like I am in the, uh, that immunology, the reproductive immunology group. And these went, some of them, I think a couple of them are, I don't know if they're doctors, but they're in the medical field where they do research and it, it's amazing. Um, you know, nice. things. Uh, Latanya said, that's true. While dating as a single mom by choice, men see me as a conquest. Mm -hmm. yeah. So how do you guys tell them when you're dating? What is that conversation like? Like, hey, baby, I gotta, I gotta talk to you. Like, how does that, how does that go? Let me see. I'm trying to think. Um, I think for me, like before I met my fiance, there was this guy. I think I just told him. I said, you know, because most of the time they're gonna ask. That's usually, most guys are going to say, well, hey, you know, you don't have kids. Do you not want to have, or did you not want to have kids? Uh, okay. So I think that's kind of sometimes how the conversation has gotten started. 
Okay. Um, because, you know, I can say, well, I don't have kids, but that wasn't by choice, you know, and then I'll share that I, I've been pregnant a couple times, had a couple losses, been going through, you know, IVF, you know, and I just kind of tell them and, and then they just like, hmm, okay. Challenge accepted. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh my God. My little, I actually do have two multiple. Hi. Oh my God. What's up? Is it a boy or a girl? This is a boy. Hi. What's his name? Don't laugh because people always say, why did you name it? His name is Zoe. I have Zoe and Chloe. Okay. Is it Z O E or Z O E Y? Z O E Y. Like, okay. Like Chloe. And then here's the other the little oh, girl. Oh my God. And she just wants to lay on mommy's boobies because I love it. Her. Yes. Oh my God, that's funny. But that's my babies. Oh, so cute. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How old are they? They are eight. They turned eight on June the first. Okay. They're eight years old. Oh, happy birthday! And I've had them since they were six weeks old. Oh, they're from the same litter. Yeah, they're brother okay. and sister. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Latanya said, I started up front because IVF is so much work. But yes, it starts with, do I want children? I always get, why would you do it this way? Uh, I always get, why would you do it this way? And then let me give you a baby. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> they trying to get right to the unprotected sex. It's like, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a whole other thing. I'm, yeah, I haven't been on a date since. Um, no, it's a lie. I went. On, I did go on one date, and I met one other guy. But they were both. We didn't even get that far in the conversation. <laughs> so yeah, it's a little. It's a little cray cray. How did you meet your fiance? Oh no! Did you freeze? Oh god, <laughs> you froze again. Did you lose me? Yeah, it went out. I don't know why. Is it's, it my uh, internet that's doing that? Is this normal or? Um, I don't know. I um, I don't know. I, I don't normally have, have a lot of people on, so it's hard to say. But it freezes, and then like I'm still moving. I don't know, child. I don't know. I, but I was asking, how did you meet your fiance? Believe it or not, we met on Facebook dating. Oh, look at you. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you happen to be in the same city? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's, you know, that's how it works. They, well, I'm trying to think. It's been so long now. I don't even remember if it, yeah, I think it matches you with people that's in your area. Okay. I haven't used it. I've, the last time I used the app, I was using, um, oh my God, Match. And that was in Brooklyn at that point. But it, it would match, like, based on the criteria. Because some people would be, like, in California. Maybe it's how I had my settings. I don't know. But they, oh, weren't, okay. yeah, they weren't all local. Um, someone said, Heather said, I suck at um, online dating. And Tiffany Girl is so crazy to me. Yeah. Oh, my God. Mm. All right. Well, I've put your information. I've left it up there. Hopefully anybody who wants to reach out to you will contact you. Thank you for spending time with us tonight. Thank you for having me on. I'm so glad I got a chance to catch you, catch you live. Usually I'm seeing the replays. So. Oh, I'm glad you caught it live too. This was good information. I'm like a lot of the ladies were saying this was good information. So definitely thank you for sharing. You're welcome. Everyone just reach out if you if you have more questions later i'm i'm available to answer and help in whatever way i can awesome we appreciate it well good night to you and good zoe night. and chloe <laughs> Say good night. oh they're over here giving each other kisses oh i love it oh my god so cute <laughs> all right we'll okay. talk to you later okay all right bye Bye-bye. All right, you guys, that was awesome. That was a lot of um, good information. I might have to go back on Facebook and join some of these groups. Um, Yeah, I I might have to lift myself ban on um, Facebook. Because there's definitely, I mean, I know there's good content on there. It was just when I was on those chats, I wasn't having a good experience. I might have to just um, try it again. 
Maybe we could try again. Try. Um, okay. I think we're all caught up on. Is there anything else? Um, Janae said, I appreciate you. And Heather said, I appreciate you, Jada. And Heather said, um, great combo. Yeah. Facebook groups is all it's good for. Okay, I might have to delve into the Facebook group world and check that out. Does anybody else have any other pressing things? Thank you for doing the watch party with me tonight. I, that was fun. I liked that. Um, and now I realize it's 9.50. I need to go release that video so the people who didn't see it in the watch party can see it. Um, Jada is saying that we're all welcome. Yeah, that was you were dropping knowledge, Jada. Thank you so much. Oh, my tiny bladder needs to be relieved. So I'm going to go. Um, thank you guys all for coming. Thank you, Jada, for sharing your knowledge and wisdom. We appreciate you. And um, I'll see y'all ladies later. <sighs> Baby does to you all. Justice was like, who are you kids? <laughs> nice TV. It's old fashioned. <laughs> <laughs> I get my tech expertly renewed.